It is no secret that our colon plays a major role in our health and well-being. In fact, 80% of your immune system is located in the digestive tract. The colon is the part of the digestive system where bacteria break down food and waste. A healthy colon should be able to break down most foods, but if you are experiencing symptoms such as diarrhea or constipation, it may be a sign that your colon needs some extra care. And in this video, we are going through some of the most effective ways to maintain a healthy colon. Drinking plenty of water is one of the easiest ways to maintain a healthy colon. It will help flush out any toxins that are lingering in your digestive system, and it can also hydrate you, which helps eliminate constipation. Of course there are other benefits as well, like helping regulate metabolism, carrying nutrients through our body, absorbing vitamins, such as vitamin C, etc. The benefits of drinking plenty of water every day are well known, but what about the importance of eating more fiber? Fiber not only helps keep your digestive system running smoothly, but it also is incredibly good for lowering cholesterol levels and preventing diabetes as well. Consuming high amounts of fiber can even lead to weight loss, because fiber takes longer to digest than other types of foods, which means that any sugars in these foods are released slowly into the bloodstream, rather than all at once. All sorts of vegetables and whole grains contain lots of nutrients, like vitamin C, iron, potassium, and magnesium, so make sure you include them in your diet on a regular basis. Exercise has been found to improve your immune system, reduces stress and anxiety levels, as well as promote healthy bowel movements. The reason for this is that when you are running or doing any other type of high aerobic activity, it causes nerve impulses, which in turn stimulate muscles and peristalsis, the natural reflex that moves material down within the digestive tract. The best types of exercises for these purposes are running, swimming, biking, and walking. So make sure you include a variety of them into your fitness routine on a regular basis. High-fat diets promote the accumulation of toxins in your body and can lead to constipation, as well as other digestive problems like heartburn or stomach acid reflux. Sugar on the other hand promotes an acidic environment, which also leads to poor gut health, so be sure to eat healthy carbs instead, such as whole grains that are rich source of fiber and nutrients. Artificial additives should also be avoided, because they have been found to cause immune system dysfunction, among many other potential side effects, including migraines, skin irritations, and fatigue. Some of the other healthy colon maintenance tips worth mentioning are not to have too many dairy or meat products. Although both can be healthy in moderation, they also promote constipation and digestive problems like diarrhea. Dairy should only be consumed sparingly, while meat should ideally never exceed two servings per week maximum. One of the healthy colon maintenance tips worth mentioning is to take a daily probiotic supplement. This will add healthy bacteria that your digestive system needs for healthy gut health. Probiotics also help relieve constipation, diarrhea, and other problems like leaky gut syndrome as well. One way you can get more probiotics into your diet if you don't want to take supplements every day is by eating fermented foods such as kimchi, sauerkraut, or pickles, which have been found to provide an abundance of benefits for healthy digestion, including improved bowel regularity and relief from bloating among many others. Alcohol consumption has been found to be harmful to the digestive system in many ways, so it is important not to overindulge in this type of drink. Smoking meanwhile has also been shown to cause problems with healthy digestion, such as respiratory tract infections, and can also lead to a decreased amount of good bacteria due to its antibacterial properties, 
which make them difficult for your body's natural immune defenses from fighting off bad bacteria that could potentially compromise your gut health. Finally, a colonoscopy is a procedure that allows your doctor to see inside the lower part of your colon. A healthy working colon should have little or no fecal matter in it. The purpose of this test is to look for cancer and other problems such as tumors, ulcers, diverticulosis, and polyps which can be removed during surgery if necessary. Colonoscopies are usually scheduled every 10 years after age 50, but even healthy people may need them sooner depending on their risk factors like family history or diet. Patients who undergo multiple endoscopic procedures will likely not be able to receive a colonoscopy until they reach over 55 to 60 years old due to changes in bowel tissue. Take these tips into consideration for a healthy lifestyle and feeling your best. They will provide the foundation for good colon health and keep your digestive problems from developing in the first place. Every week we post a new video on different health topics. Consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon.